Hey, welcome back to SprueTube. Uh, today I'm going to be painting the SDKFC223 that I built last week. I'll be using a mix of basic craft acrylics and Vallejo acrylics. Um, I like the Vallejo acrylics, they're very good, but I don't have them in all the colors, so that's why I use the craft acrylics. So, let's get started. Uh, I mixed uh, what I got to be the best I could as a panzer gray out of dark gray and black craft acrylics with a couple drops of Vallejo blue because the gray that I have is a little brown tinted which isn't very close to a panzer gray uh, and here I forgot to take the turret off before painting I like to paint it separately if there are any removable parts I prefer to take them off uh, and if you haven't noticed already I brush paint my vehicles I don't have an airbrush so this is the only way I know how to do it uh, and like I said in my last video I left the stowage off to paint separately and attach afterwards uh, that includes the full-bodied figure the halfman is already inside the vehicle so you might be thinking Wow, that looks terrible. And yes, it does. Uh, when you brush paint vehicles, you need to have pretty thin paint so that it doesn't gloop up all over the surfaces. So you have to cover the surface with a few thin layers of paint. Uh, and here, I accidentally knocked off one of the antenna with the wing mirror, so I had to glue it back on. I think I paint a little aggressively. So, back to painting. It's a little difficult with brush painting to get into all the little crevices everywhere. It may have been a bit easier to paint this if I had left, for example, the wheels off. There's a lot of surface behind them that was difficult for me to reach. But I put the whole thing together, and now I have to deal with that. I did paint most of the bottom of the vehicle, too, even though hopefully no one will ever see it. I didn't do the best job because it's the bottom. But when I weather this vehicle in the next video, I should cover most of the bottom with mud and other effects. There are a lot of crevices and small details on the bottom, so it was hard to get the paint into all the little corners. So that's part of the reason the bottom looks kind of bad. It gets a little hard to hold when the whole thing's covered in wet paint, so you get to see my hand acrobatics trying to hold onto it. So while I waited for the first coat on the main part of the vehicle to dry, uh, I painted the outside of the turret and the bottom. I took the gun off so I could paint it separately. Uh, you'll see that later. And then I set it down to dry. So the first coat is dry. I started painting spots that I missed, which is most of the front and two of the tires. And I also started on the second coat of paint same idea as the last coat, just a thin layer of paint over everything. I just kind of throw it on. Try to have it be kind of even though. And here I'm trying to get all the little spaces behind the tires. Alright, and while that second coat dries, I'm gonna paint the figure. So how I paint them is I start by doing the whites of the eyes, 
and it's very important that you don't focus on the figure who cannot stand on his own. Uh, and while that dries, I'll put the skin tone on his hands. I like to work really quickly on my figures, so while one piece dries, I paint another, and I don't glue them together until I'm done painting everything off screen. Uh, so his other hand, same idea. Just give it a coating of the flesh base Vallejo paint. If you get a little bit of mess on his sleeves, it's fine because it's going to get coated in a different color anyway. So now that the black, the white is on his eyes, you can add little dots for pupils. Uh, it takes a little while to get good at this. I'm still not very good as you can see, uh, but while that dries, I'm gonna paint his boots. Just black. I gave the boots some interest by painting the laces brown later on, but for now I just paint them black. Alright, that's one boot done. On to the next one. With figures, I'm mostly able to paint everything in one pretty thick coat. Make sure you don't forget the bottoms of his feet. Uh, so now that his eyes are dried, um, I put the flesh tone over, and the eyes looked terrible before this obviously, but you slowly dial in the shape of the eyes using the flesh color. You cover all the extra white and black uh, like on the bottom of his brow and on his cheeks and anything on his nose. So it's pretty delicate work, but it's not too difficult once you get used to it. Uh, so back to the vehicle, I give it another coat, trying to make it less bad looking. It takes a few layers to get it looking solid. And sometimes afterwards you need to touch up a couple problem spots, like especially big surfaces. I know later on I had to paint the top of the vehicle and the hood another layer to get it even. You could still see some of the plastic color showing through. It's really starting to look like something. If it looks like something other than an SDK of C223, let me know what it is in the comments. So here I'm doing what I said earlier and filling in any of the larger areas that weren't fully covered. Which turned out to be most of the vehicle. My one problem with the craft paints is that they come off really easily. I'm hoping to get more Vallejo paints eventually or another 
better modeling brand to solve this problem. Uh, now that all the gray's done, I painted the black of the tires. Before now, it looked kind of boring because it was just gray, but painting the tires really made them pop out and have some more visual interest to the model. This is another case where painting the tires separately would probably have been a little better because not only would I have gotten the surfaces behind them, but I could have painted the all the sides of them more easily. And you can see how it didn't really matter that I got the gray on the tire parts because the black just covers it up. Also, if you look in the top right corner, you can get a sneak peek on the finished figure. Or if you want to see a close-up of him, you can check out my Instagram at Sprutube Models. Uh, I posted a picture of him talking about this video. We're almost done. Just gotta finish this tire and the spare. Last one. Made sure to put my hand in the way as much as I could. At least when I wasn't painting off screen. Alright, we made it. So next I painted this little box on the fender. Uh, I just went with a nice brown because the box looks kind of wooden. Uh, and also it provides a lot of contrast from the gray, which is nice. The vehicle still looks pretty boring right now, but the stowage really adds a lot to it later on. Uh, you can you can see here that the gray was starting to chip off on some raised details, so I was trying to fix it there. And now I'm painting the shovel black to give more contrast. Uh, here I'm painting Jack Black. Jack Black. Huh? Uh, <laughs> Just to give it even more contrast. And so it can star in School of Rock. God. <laughs> I painted the headlights and the wing mirror with the light gray that I have in the Vallejo colors. I did kind of a messy job. I probably should have masked around it with my Tamiya masking tape. But I did an okay job, 
and I'm I do okay. And then I decided to pick out some little raised details with the lighter gray also. A lot of little latches, hinges, all sorts of things. Just to give it some more interest. And I think that really helped give the more texture to the model. Uh, so here I'm just painting the gun black. Again, add some contrast. I don't really have a gunmetal color, so I usually just go with black. I would prefer a glossy black. The paint claims to be glossy, but it's incredibly matte, so what you gonna do? Uh, so I painted all the stowage off screen because it's tiny and my hands would have been in the way and I probably wouldn't have been filming the painting in the shot. Uh, so I use this Gorilla Super Glue to attach all the stowage. So here I'm putting on the extra fuel cans on the little holder in the front. Uh, there's this little blanket that I painted also. I painted all of them, so I don't have to specify that I painted them. Uh, there's a little German helmet that goes over the headlight. They use that so that the light wouldn't be seen by the enemy. Uh, there's a water can looks like a gas can but apparently it held water some random stowage random bags I painted all of these a mixture of brown uh, field gray US olive drab to get a different green color in there um, yeah and the water can and blanket or painted the same gray as all the raised details. Uh, I've painted a lot of German figures, so my way of painting the canteens is to have the main body of the canteen be brown, the lid and strap black, and then the little latch or yeah, the little latch mechanism. Buckle, that's the word. Uh, I paint that very lightly with some gray. So now I'm cramming the final little details in. There's some iron bars. And a bowl, I guess. It's pretty much just a bowl and then another helmet. And then that's pretty much the model complete. The helmet is the last part I put on. And there it is done. So be sure to let me know what you think. Especially about how this guy can't stand up. So thanks for watching. Check out my Instagram and Patreon and Tune in next week for weathering. Bye.